So Chris, being the fact that you recently dealt with a male, let's talk about maybe what you'd see with a male. Well, you'd see pollen sacs with a male. So yeah. when you grow the plant plant out, um, you know, some oftentimes you get what people call pre-flowers. They're actually not technically, I don't think that's actual actual term that scientists use or anything, but pre-flowers with females, you see the pistols first. Um, with males, you can kind of see like a little nub. You know, it's just a little nub. There's no hair coming out of the nub at the node. Um, and then once you flip to a, a flowering light cycle, um, that darkness period is what uh, actually induces flowering. Um, so PFR and PR um, states, uh, phytochrome, um, I won't get too deep into it, but uh, basically the longer the darkness, the more fluorogen is going to build up, which is a flowering hormone. Um, so you have this fluorogen that builds up and then it will start to flower. The plant will, will transition to a flowering state, reproductive state. Um, and, and so. With males, you'll see you won't you're not going to see pistols come out of it. You'll see pollen sacs form instead. So they typically they'll come on as little nubs first, and as they continue to grow, they grow pretty rapidly. I mean, we're talking within the matter of days, you'll have full blown sacs, and um, so you'll see these clusters of sacs, and then you know uh, that you've got a male there. So like that's an indicator of male. And then of course, as most of us know, that if it's pistols there, you'll see uh, females. You know, that's a female. So is that kind of what you were asking? Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is when you deal with these sacks, a lot of people will get tripped up with identifying if it's those little bumps or if it's actually a pistol coming out. And sometimes you'll see that like little bit of a pistol with the bumps next to it too, you know? And, and that's what's tripped me up in the past. I'm like, oh no, that's female. It's like, that's not necessarily the female. When you're looking at different parts, like the anatomy of the plant, you know, a lot of people I feel like uh, will throw a plant out too quick. A lot of people being me as well. I've thrown plants out that I thought was, I was hundred percent. It was a male and it wasn't a male. You know, and, and because I put it outside to find out, I was like, fuck it, I'll let it grow out there. Worst case condition, I cut it, kill it, potentially ruin someone else's garden. But when you get to that point, it's too far gone, you're screwed. I think a lot of times it's easier to either keep that plant in veg, clone it, and then put that in a flower, or take that, put it in a flower for a couple of days so that way it shows those signs faster instead of just trying to ride it out and veg a big ass dude, which I've been a victim of that too, where I've trained and worked a beautiful plant and I'm like, oh, this looks like a female. Now, when I see a, a very girthy grower right away between the mix, I'm like, you might be a dude. Yeah, yeah immediately. I, if it's nice and hearty. You always boy. find it's the, it's, the, it's the beautiful, the bushy, the nice, just symmetrical. Just, you're, you're a man. God damn it. Um, yeah, I, I've been in that, that same position. And the problem is, is that you'll often confuse the calyxes as the sacs. And I, I'm, I'm very, very... Uh, intense with my training and typically within the three weeks from uh, uh, a veg within the by the third week by a month pre-flowers that's the that's the term that that, that i'm the most familiar with what that would be in science uh, i'm a i'm a bro session so i know my terms bro um, scientist. yeah yeah it's uh, i got a degree on the wall um <laughs> well i think you'd be in the pre pre or pre-flowering stage you'd be seeing like pistols that are yeah you do well pre and this with is males they're like um, veg. And you will still see staminates. Stam I think it's staminates. Stamens. Stamens. That was close. All right. Yeah. There you go. He, he, this is the Damons. doctor of the show. Anthers. So they're going to look comparable, you know, to the naked eye. A lot of times, using a magnifying glass is key. Me and PF have well, that we wear. Yes and yes and no. Like the thing is, is if you're vigilant enough and you're in the garden every day. Uh, which is what I recommend, you know, whether you're doing anything is irrelevant, but I think that you should be at least vigilant and, 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 and taking a look in your garden every day. You're, you're going to see the, the, the evolution of these, these sacks, you know, they start off as like the little ball, as we mentioned, very small. And that's where you can confuse it with a calyx because there's just a single ball there. And I've seen some very hardy, some very thick looking females, and they've got very swollen calyxes and if you weren't sure, you would think that that was a pollen sac. But if you gave it another, you know, two, three days, doink, out comes, out comes a pistol. And, and then you're, 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 you're a little more certain. But, but look across the entire plant, you know. Um, parts, sections of the plant are going to mature at different rates than other parts. So you, the part that you might see that, that has a calyx and or a sac, go to take another look. I like to look towards the top of the plant when it comes to looking for these signs of sex. So, you know, whether it's the top nodes or the top couple nodes, you're getting in there. And you, you, most of the time, if you see a ball or if you see a calyx, there's going to be something along the plant within the next day or so that's going to give you just a more, more 
definite answer, you know. This FTS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code the stash 15 at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.